doesn't fit. I'm working on these new little doodads here. These are uh, guitar tuners. I got an idea for a new product. And I machined all these out. And my hole. This doesn't quite fit this part that's going to go in there. I need to ream that out. Did a little experiment earlier today. Made this little reamer. And it worked. But I'm going to make another one. Quite a bit shorter. Six flutes instead of four. And then I'm actually going to harden that. This is a W1 drill rod, so I can harden that just by getting her red and cherry hot and then dunking her in water. So I'm going to make a little six flute reamer. Here we go. So I've got this little three inch rotary table. I'm going to clamp that in the vise of my mill and use that to index my flutes. I've got that four jaw chuck dialed in as close as I'm going to get it. There is going to be a lot of indicating going on trying to get this all dialed in. I need to have the rotary table as close to square and perfect as I can get it. So I've already got the part centered in the rotary table. Now I've got to get the thing square to the mill. zero set. Top zero is top of the bar. I have the X and Y set so the edge of the tool is the center of the shaft and the edge of the tool is the end of the shaft. So now we can start cutting the flutes. So even though this is a CNC machine I'm going to be doing it with the crank. took a 1 16th depth of cut. Now I am going to go 60 degrees. And do it again.
and cut some release for those flutes. So now I have the tool centered over the shaft. I am down seven thousandths of an inch. And I think that's going to just leave me a perfect cutting edge. I'm going to run this through and you know, take a look, see what it looks like. figure out how to put a leading edge on those. Give me a minute to scratch my head. Okay, so I've got it set up now to cut that leading edge in each flute. And then I'm gonna go slow with this. Got my numbers all dialed in. Chucked it in a lathe and I put a chamfer on the corner. I filed those uh, relief notches in the forward facing thing. Just did all that by hand. We're gonna try to heat treat it now with our two map gas torches. That's all we got, but I tried it on the first test one and it worked. So I'll show you how I do that. We'll see if we can film this without burning up the camera. Bucket of water handy. Get this fire hazard stopped. Well, 
There she is. Oh, we'll have to see if it cuts. So I've clamped my part in my little uh, ER20 pin vise that I made out of a broken one of these jobbers. It's a ER20 collet holder. And I've put the new reamer in that so I can chuck it in my drill. This is uh, bigger than fits in my 3 8 drill, but this collet holder holds it. We got shavings. I don't know if you can see that, but left a pretty nice finish in the bottom of that hole. Let's see if we accomplished our mission. Yes, sir. -y. We've got ourselves a new cool tool. So why would one bother to make something like this? Well, because I can. Um, I needed this, like right now, and I could build it. This would have been, uh, I didn't look up the, the size reamer, but it's probably a $75, $80 reamer. And I was able to make that out of material I had laying around on the machines that I have in my shop. And I got the pride of making it myself, making a tool that works. So thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next build.